Hey, what's going on everyone? This is G and I'm Funkin' Hungry. In this video, we're going to try McDonald's new Caramello McFlurry. So normally I get this in the vanilla, but I thought why the hell not just get it in the chocolate one for once, you know. I just thought it would suit the flavour, chocolate. As the caramello sauce, it probably is just that normal caramel sauce. Who knows? If you work there, let me know in the comments. It also has flake pieces. But yeah, you can see the chocolate ice cream. You can see that it's got the caramello sauce and it has these flake pieces. So they're just really thin flaky pieces of chocolate, Cadbury. But let's give it a try. Cheers. Probably should have got the vanilla so I can taste the caramel sauce a little bit more. But if you haven't had the chocolate soft serve from Macca's, it's actually pretty damn good. It has this sort of chocolate mousse, chocolate ice cream, but a really good chocolate ice cream flavour. The flake pieces are okay, but the texture is a little bit weird. You know, I probably would have preferred little chunky bits of chocolate instead of flake pieces. The caramel with the chocolate, the caramel with the chocolate ice cream isn't that strong. You can see the caramello, it does actually look different than the normal caramel sauce to be honest. Kind of does look like the caramello inside. So if you don't know what the caramello is, it's a Cadbury chocolate. You know, they, they do have in Australia caramello koalas. So it's basically kind of like a Freddo, but it's a, a shape of a koala chocolate and it has this caramello sauce inside. Also, I believe it comes in a block of chocolate. These days it even comes in like a bar of chocolate. Also, if anyone in Australia remembers snack, the Cadbury block snack used to have caramello squares in that. Snack was like a mixture between all these different gooey scented chocolates but i'm gonna try this because as i say it does actually look like caramello sauce yeah so that's actually a really nice sauce it's a shame they didn't put a bit more on this you know it's mainly just the chocolate ice cream you know as i get down yeah so the letdown is there's not that much toppings especially once i mix it around that caramello sauce is just yeah disappearing so i feel like it probably would have worked better in the vanilla this chocolate ice cream as nice as it is is kind of like masking some of the flavor of the other ingredients so i feel like the vanilla being a bit of a lighter flavor it will sort of help push those flavors more the caramello sauce and the flake pieces i feel like they could have added a lot more sauce and a lot more of that Cadbury flake pieces but I haven't had the chocolate ice cream in ages and it is super good but you know we're here for the caramello they don't put any toppings underneath so as you eat down into here you know you just get ice cream which is super cheap for them to make you're just paying really top dollar for a little bit of ingredients the chocolate ice cream is definitely funkin delicious but those ingredients, you know, I'm here for the caramello, which is kind of all gone now. Once you get past about half, you definitely run out of ingredients. You know, there's a little bit of sauce around the edges, a little bit of flake pieces. I feel like instead of just doing Cadbury flake pieces, you know, they should have had like some crushed chocolate. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a caramello as much with flake pieces, but that sauce is bloody awesome. Really like that sauce. Just would have liked, you know, probably double of that. But I am really enjoying it. But that's just because I like the chocolate ice cream and haven't had it in, you know, a year, maybe more, maybe a couple of years. But yeah, if you haven't tried the chocolate soft serve at Macca's, give it a go. But my rating for McDonald's, Caramello McFlurry, I'm going to have to give them a 5 out of 10. Like really, they should put the toppings underneath, the toppings on top, and then the ice cream. That's what Hungry Jack's, aka Burger King, does when they do the storms. They put ingredients at the bottom, they put the ice cream in the middle, and then they put ingredients on top. So it just means when you get down to the bottom, you can mix in the ingredients underneath in the ice cream. 
If McDonald's did that, they would have got much better of a score because it would have tasted like uh, caramello all the way through. Now, the price for a McFlurry is $4.95, and I did get this delivery, which was like $6.80. I'll leave the prices on screen for you, but it is pretty crazy how much they bump up that price for delivery. So I got McDelivery or whatever they call it. But yeah, like, you know, it's basically about a dollar eighty more or something for just delivery when, you know, you already pay service fee and then they bump up all of the different items more. So yeah, even this is like almost two dollars more to get it delivered. So my price rating, I'll do two separate price ratings. I'll give them a six out of ten for their normal price and I'll give them a four out of ten for their mic delivery. Because I, if I wasn't doing a review, I wouldn't pay six ninety for this. Maybe if they added more ingredients, yeah, you would. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried McDonald's Caramello McFlurry. Do you agree or disagree with what I've said? Yeah, have you tried it with the chocolate? Did you try it with the vanilla? It probably would work more with the vanilla, I feel. Just because as good as that chocolate soft serve is, the chocolate sort of takes away from the caramello, funny enough. Even though caramello, you know, is with chocolate. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. This is G from Funkin' Hungry, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.